guys, it's Monday, December 4th. Muzzleloader season here in Vermont. It's my first day out. Got a late start this morning, but Brad and I are hunting together, just like last year when I shot my buck. Got up high, we're about a mile in right now and just got the first track of the day. Pretty good buck track. It's not super huge. He's heading right up out. That was just this morning, so snow stopped around 3 a.m. And uh, it's warming up, but we got good snow. Nice and packy, easy to track one today, so. We'll see where the day takes us. We aren't even three quarters of the way where we want to be up at the top of the mountain to the saddle, so we'll get up in there. We might take this track for a little while, but all right, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a good one. Well, I stayed on that track a ways. It's a real good deer. Looking back on it. Dragon, not a wide stride, but confirmed it's definitely a doe. Stood. Leg spread. Piss hole right there. Single. Single piss hole like that. So, uh, Brad's got a doe tag. Might try to get him on this one. She's a real nice doe, so. Um, but we, he doesn't want to explore up in here with me, so. Might just leave this one and head on up. But he's got a buck tag too, so. Another deer. I don't know if that's her or not. Yep, yeah, looks like it. She just circled one up that way. So I just heard Blue Jays up above. That was probably her up above us. So, all right, I'm gonna leave it. On to the next. We'll go find a big buck. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, get to the top in the saddle. Uh -huh. Just down before we had a buck track coming through fresh. Uh, medium sized buck. It looked like he was kind of on a trot. Uh, maybe caught wind of one. The wind's swirling a lot. So maybe caught wind of a doe. But uh, Brad got on that one. He was heading the direction he was going to hunt anyway. So I let him go on that. And maybe, uh, maybe he'll go get him. But I broke off. I don't have any fresh tracks. Uh, I went down over the backside a little ways, quarter mile or so, came back, no tracks. So, snow's heavy up here. A lot of snow on the trees, so. And the wind's bad over on this side. So I'm gonna angle up and around, um, get around one of these knobs, and then it's a nice, another flat and a higher saddle. So, I'm gonna try to get in there and Hopefully I can cut a track, but that's kind of where that buck came from. So we'll see, but worth a shot all the way up in here now, two miles. So might as well just keep on trucking until we find a track. So might be a tough one. I mean, this heavy snow up here might've just drove them all down. We had four different tracks on the way up. Uh, one doe by herself and then Two more, it looked like two doe together. Bigger one and a smaller one. And then uh, another single doe. So the deer could be a lot lower and maybe a buck will be trying to get in with that group. I don't know, but we'll see. All right, see what we get into. Stay tuned. Man, it is gorgeous in here. Nothing fresh yet, but some old tracks under the snow. You can see the dimples. But this is buck country. Big, big buck country. And moose country. Way at the top again. We're just gonna keep on poking along till we cut a fresh track in here. Snow's loud underneath. But boy, is it cold up here compared to down below. But it's gorgeous. Stay tuned. I'm at the very peak of the mountain now. Snow's picking up like crazy. It's snowing and blowing. And this is just so thick in here. Very top of the mountain. You would never think there'd be deer in here, but 
Sure enough, I just got two. And it looks like there might be one or two more with them. So, I have a good feeling there's a buck in this group right here. This one could be a pretty good track, filled in with a little bit of snow right now, but it's super, super fresh. And I'm gonna get on them. The wind's helping cover my sound, and it's in my favor right now, so. I'm just gonna poke along real easy. Looks like they're browsing along. But here you go. Looks like it might be a doe and a fawn. circle feeding or maybe there's more deer with them so I'm gonna check it and keep you posted stay tuned guys So it looks like there's a real good buck in this group. I see some running tracks. He might be chasing a doe around. And there's three or four deer together here, so uh, might be tough. But I'm gonna just go real, really, really easy and keep working in the direction they're in. The snow is super loud for me, so I might grunt a little bit. I might get lucky, he might come right in on me. But here's his track, he's a good one. Really good buck. That's him right there. So, he's in with this group. There's at least four. I think at least four deer together. So, I'm gonna pushing really easy. The wind's blowing nice and loud, so that'll help me out. Alright, stay tuned. Snow is really, really coming down hard now, but they started to feed here. Wind's at my back, but hopefully I can get out of this crap that's snowing bad right now. With this wind blowing hard, perfect time to kill one. I'm just hoping I can
nasty now with that storm. So I gotta get moving. Good thing we're going uphill. All those other deer went up that way too, so I'm gonna get on them. Alright, wish me luck. I just got in a whole mess of tracks. There's a bed. Another bed. Before that last snow. Unfortunately, I got in a mess of tracks. As you can see, my tracks are everywhere. So are deer tracks. My tracks are there, my tracks are there. Deer tracks are around and around and around. I was just a little too late today, getting up in here. I would have been right in the mix of them. Buck chasing a doe in here, around and around. Then there's at least four other deer, five other, six other deer feeding in here. And just, just meandering through here. It's, it's a maze. It's crazy. And it's so thick that you just can't figure out, you know, what direction to take here. So it's, uh, it sucks. It sucks a lot. And there's a good buck in here somewhere. But I keep finding this track and then I get mixed up in a ton of other tracks and then I lose his track then I find his track going another direction so I think he was just running one in here but that's how it goes so it's a quarter of three it's 245 right now it gets dark around 430 I am a mile and a half at least from the truck so I'm gonna go the direction I know I need to go, and there are some tracks going that way, so we'll see what happens, but just kind of one of those cluster Fs today. When you, you get into them, and you get into them too heavy, and then you can't sort them out because it's too much going on, and there isn't a clean exit out of here. There's nothing, there's too many, too many actual deer. It's not just a buck and a doe, so. I mean, I got up where I wanted to, and I'm amazed at how much actions are going on in here. So, this high, I'm at 3,000 feet right now. Good sign. We got dumped on in snow again. I got soaked. So tomorrow should be good, but I don't know if I'm going to be up in here tomorrow. But we'll see. All right, I'm going to hunt my way out while I have daylight still, and maybe I can get on one. Hey, fat, heavy, heavy. Going a different deer. Could be the same ones, but there's just deer everywhere in here. I did see one today, but that was it. That one, I'm pretty sure it was by itself. Oh, this is super fresh. guys that's it for today day one of muzzleloader december 4th ended up jumping those three deer that were feeding they took off i never saw them never heard them go but I could tell i jumped them and they just ran down and down and down and down i stayed on them for a long time till we got back into here they just started hooking back up the mountain and it's almost 10 after 4 dark in a little bit and i got a 
long ways to get back to the truck. So I got to make sure, uh, got no service. So I got to make sure Brad's okay too. And, uh, I'm going to work back to the way we came in. And if I see his boot tracks going down, that's a good sign. So I'll meet him at the truck, but if not, uh, it could be a long night. I heard a shot. I thought way off in the distance, not too long after we split up. So if it was him, maybe he got one and uh, we'll be dragging out tonight. But if not, and we're going to go warm up by the wood stove with some hot food, kick our feet up and relax because we both put on the miles today. I must be over five miles now. So and it was a wet, cold, snowy blizzard. It's nuts there for a while. But muzzle loading. It's what we live for. So we'll see. These deer are tough up here. These national forest deer that live at the top. They know how to survive though. So alright guys, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.